which bread is best for your blood sugar? Some people say, if you're gonna eat bread, make sure you stick with the whole wheat. Other people say, no, 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 sourdough is best because of the fermentation process that it goes through. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna be testing out all three, white, wheat, and sourdough, and compare to see if there's actually a different effect on my blood sugar, and hopefully to answer the question once and for all, which bread is best for my blood sugar? And all with the help of my handy dandy glucose monitor. All right, let's get into it. So this morning, I'm gonna be starting off with the white bread. And since we can all probably safely predict that this is gonna be horrible for my blood sugar, I'm starting with this so that I can get a baseline blood sugar to which I can then compare the whole wheat and the sourdough. And I wanted to keep this experiment as close to real life as possible, and nobody eats just a plain white piece of toast. So I did put some grass-fed butter on mine, and for the sake of science, I measured out exactly four grams so that I can be consistent with the whole wheat bread and the sourdough bread as well. And I'm actually really excited to eat this because I haven't eaten white toast in forever, so I'm gonna enjoy it even though I'm scared about what it's gonna to do to my blood sugar. All right, so let me eat this and then I'm gonna check back in with you guys in 30 minute intervals for two hours. I'll be back. All right, so it's been 30 minutes and I just wanna check my blood sugar to see how it's trending. I'm not feeling really any symptoms at all. I am very hungry. That one slice of toast was quite small. And also a note, uh, my fasting blood sugar this morning was low, like way lower than it normally is. Whoa, 107. I started off at 77, 78, and I've gone up 30 points already in just half an hour. That's terrifying, actually. Um, I was gonna say my fasting blood sugar was really low this morning, lower than normal, but I did check it twice just in case. First time I got 77, second time I got 78. And now 30 minutes in, I am at 107. Yikes. All right, so checking again at the one hour mark. At this point now, I am super, super hungry. My blood sugar had already spiked 30 points at the 30 minute mark. 126, wow, ah, 126. Okay, so it went up almost 50 points at this at this point oh my gosh okay so let's see what happens in another 30 minutes please please start coming back down my blood sugar was up 48 points at the hour mark let's see if it's coming back down maybe crashing really quickly because my insulin response is probably insane right now and i have my baby over here eating breakfast 102, so it is on the way back down. I wanna see how quickly it crashes and let's see where I land at the two hour mark. Ow, <laughs> that one hurt. 84, so basically back to baseline. My hypothesis is that my insulin response was really strong and so now my blood sugar might even be crashing. So just for curiosity's sake, I'm gonna test again in 30 minutes to see if I'm dipping even below that 77, 78 mark that I started off with. All right, so I'm back today to test out whole wheat bread. It is a little bit crispy, but that's okay. So quick review, yesterday with the white bread, my blood sugar spiked a total of 48 points. Now 48 points might not seem like a lot, a lot, but keep in mind that people usually don't just eat one slice of toast. Maybe they'll eat the toast and also add a bowl of cereal, or maybe they'll wash everything down with a glass of orange juice, or maybe they'll, they'll slather their toast with a bunch of sugary jam. So those sugars and carbs really do add up fast. And so 48 points with just the bread and butter not good. Let's see what happens today with the whole wheat toast. And just like yesterday, it's 28 grams of toast. And I also measured out four grams of grass fed butter that I put on top. All right, so I'm gonna eat this and then I will check back in with you guys in 30 minute intervals for two hours. Oh, and I forgot to show you guys my fasting number this morning, but it was 78, which was the same as yesterday when I tried out the white bread. So for consistency sake, that's great, but it's just weird why my fasting number is lower than usual. Typically it runs in the mid to high 80s, sometimes even the low 90s. So I don't know, but I'll take it. So 78 for fasting this morning. 
I'm checking in now at 30 minutes and I'm trying to switch up the background so that it doesn't get so boring for you guys. Um, it's hard to find spots in my house because everything is just littered with kids' toys. So this is as interesting as it's gonna get. All right, let's check in. So I was at 78 earlier. With the white bread, I was at, I think I was at 107. So I had spiked about 30 points. 88 it only went up 10 points wait let me double check where was i 30 minutes in with the white bread i was at 107 yeah it had spiked 30 points right now i've only spiked eight points with the whole wheat bread mm, okay let's keep going and see what happens here all right, so I'm at the hour mark now. Last time it had only gone up 10 points in 30 minutes to 88, which was honestly so shocking for me. Um, so let's see where we're at now at the hour mark. Ooh, so interesting. I love data. Okay, let's see. 108. 108 at the one hour mark. Okay, so there is a difference between white and wheat bread. Wow. At one hour with the white bread, I was at 126. Right now I'm at 108. I would say that's a pretty big difference. This is really interesting data. I'm gonna check back in with you guys at the 90 minute mark. Let's see if we are on the way back down. I hope so, I hope so. So far whole wheat bread is way better than white bread for my blood sugar. 90, I'm at 90 right now at the 90 minute mark. see 86 okay so 86 two hours after the whole wheat bread 84 two hours after the white bread negligible these glucose monitors have a 15 percent variance so those are basically the same reading they are both able to come back down at the two hour mark but the spike was significantly lower with the wheat bread. I guess my body prefers the wheat bread, which is what dietitians say, what people say. Now tomorrow I'm gonna to be testing out sourdough, which is like my absolute favorite, favorite bread of all time. So I'm really excited to see what my blood sugar is going to be doing then. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. So I'm really excited about today because I am gonna be testing out sourdough bread, my favorite type of bread on my blood sugar and Again, for the sake of science, I had to measure out exactly 28 grams. So I cut the slice of sourdough into about a third, and then I needed this little teeny tiny piece to make it up to 28 grams. So I have to make sure that I eat this little crumb too. And as you guys know, I will be checking in 30 minute intervals for two hours to see what the sourdough bread does to my blood sugar. Also, I did test my fasting blood sugar and it landed at 96, which is significantly higher than what my fasting blood sugar was when I tried the whole wheat toast and the white toast. So we just got to keep that in mind when we are comparing numbers. And what happened, I think, is last night I did have Trader Joe's birria tacos, which have been all the rage. And it was very good, but very good greasy and full of not so good for you fat so I do notice that when I eat things that are higher in fat like that that the next day my fasting blood sugar is elevated so uh, just keep that in mind fingers crossed that my favorite bread is not going to hurt me too much all right I'll check back in with you guys with the white bread at this point my blood sugar had gone up 29 points with the whole wheat bread my blood sugar had only gone up 10 points so let's see what happens with the sourdough Please give me good results. Please, please, please give me good results. I'm at 115. So I started out at 96. It went up nine points. So, so far on par with the whole wheat bread. All right, moment of truth. It's been one hour. With the white bread at this point, my blood sugar had shot up 48 points. With the wheat bread, my blood sugar had shot up 30 points. Let's see what happens with the sourdough. Last I checked, I was at 115. Ooh. Oh, I was at 115. It, now it's 120, so it only went up five points. Wait, so I started at 96 and it went up to 120 in an hour? You guys, that means it only went up 24 points. 
Now, if this is the peak, that means sourdough is even better than white bread. Can sourdough really be better than wheat bread? Wow, that would be so exciting. All right, let me check back in in 30 minutes. I wish my fasting number this morning was comparable to when I had the whole wheat toast and the white toast because the difference is making it hard for me to wrap around in my head like what exactly is going on here. But last check with the sourdough, I was at 120 and now it's down to 106. I'm trying to kind of compare numbers here as we're going. I mean, I think sourdough bread is winning. <laughs> All right, so we're on our last check of the day. Thank goodness, because I am starving. I can't wait to go eat some more food. And if you guys have any ideas on how I can make these videos more interesting for you, please do share. <laughs> I will be happy to take your feedback into consideration. 91. So I am now a couple points below my fasting number. So basically I'm back to baseline. All right, I am going to compare all the numbers and figure out kind of what my conclusions are. So let me do some computing, some comparing, some graphing, and I'll get back to you guys with my final conclusions. All right, so I compiled all my data into neat little graphs. So let's go over our findings. So first with the white bread here, you can see that it was not pretty. My blood sugar spiked almost 50 points over the course of an hour before coming back down. And it was literally the idiot bittiest piece of toast. Now let's compare that to the whole wheat bread. So you can clearly see that whole wheat bread was much better for my body than the white bread. I still spiked 30 points on again, the idiot bittiest piece of toast, but an 18 point difference. I mean, that is significant to me. So I guess doctors and dietitians are right. Whole wheat bread is better again, at least for my body than white bread. All right, let's throw sourdough bread into the mix here. So the graph is trending overall higher because my fasting started much higher than it did with the white and the wheat, but you can still see that the spike from the sourdough bread is more like a gentle wave. So that blood sugar increase was much more gradual, much more gentle on my body. Now I'm gonna insert another graph here where I'm gonna transpose the sourdough bread numbers down to start at the same fasting number as the white and the wheat. Now I know it doesn't quite work like that, but let's just give it a try and see what happens. And when I do that, it's much more clear that the sourdough bread had a better impact on my blood sugar overall. So what is it about sourdough bread that is supposed to be better for your blood sugar? So my research told me three things. The first thing is that the overall glycemic index is much lower for sourdough bread compared to other breads. So out of 100, sourdough falls between anywhere between the 44 and the 65 range, whereas other breads can be upwards of 75 on the glycemic index. And number two, that fermentation process that sourdough bread goes through to give it that like tangy sour flavor apparently eats away at a lot of the sugar that's inside of the flour, which means less sugar in your body. And number three, that same fermentation process supposedly creates some beneficial gut bacteria that aids in digestion, thus helps your body process the sugar better. So this experiment was actually really eye-opening for me. At least for my body, there was a significant difference between the white and the wheat and the sourdough. So does this mean that I'm gonna just allow myself a free-for-all when it comes to sourdough bread? No, of course not. Sourdough is still a carb and carbs are still not great for your blood sugar. But I'm gonna do what I've continued to do even now is to eat it in moderation, paired with you know two eggs or maybe on avocado toast. And when I'm eating it, to really eat it with intentionality and purpose and spending the time to really enjoy the flavors because I really, really do love bread and I cannot cut it out of my diet. If you're able to do that and you wanna do that to help your blood sugar, then great. But that's not the path for me and I'm okay with that again, when I do it with intentionality and with purpose. So there you have it, another blood sugar experiment in the books. Leave down in the comments below if there's a blood sugar experiment that you'd like me to do. And if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any upcoming content. Thanks so much for joining me today and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.